Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a trigonometric equation. We have tangent x equals 1 over cosine x, and we're going to be looking for x values. I'm going to go ahead and attempt to solve this problem, and then at the end, I'm going to show you a couple of graphs. All right, so we have this type of equation where it's not necessarily a standard type of equation, so we can turn everything into sine and cosine. That's usually a good method for most equations, unless there are other identities that you can use. Uh, it's almost always helpful. So in this case, uh, tangent can be written as sine x over cosine x. And then let's set it equal to 1 over cosine x. Now a couple of things we need to uh, think about. Uh, the denominator should not be 0, so cosine x should not be 0. That means cosine x should not be an odd multiple of pi over 2 like pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2, so on and so forth. And also, we're, we're going to, you know, look at the end result, right, under these conditions. Uh, we don't have to worry much about the domain first. If you want, you can just go ahead and solve it and then check, check it at the end. But the graph will also give some ideas. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Obviously, um, a lot of times people would cancel cosine x out, like multiply both sides by cosine x, but that's not a good method because that could lead to loss of roots uh, and sometimes, you know, squaring brings extraneous roots, extraneous solutions, and this might lose some of your roots. So that's why we just want to cross multiply and let's go ahead and do it. Sine x times cosine x equals cosine x. So first we do cross multiplication and then we're going to put everything on the same side and use factoring. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring the cosine x over here. And now let's go ahead and factor out cosine x here. And that gives us cosine x times sine x minus 1 equals 0. Now it's important, it's important to write it that way, that way we can consider all solutions if there are any. Now we have a product and this tells us basically if the product is 0 then each factor can be equal to 0. So let's go ahead and set each factor equal to 0. First one is cosine x. Cosine x equals 0. And this gives us, remember, on the, if you uh, remember the unit circle, cosine is 0 on the y-axis. That's where uh, the, you know, x is pi over 2. I shouldn't say x, by the way, because that's not the same x as this one. But anyways, you get the idea. The angle is pi over 2 or 3 pi over 2. So in other words, odd multiples of pi over 2 is actually going to give you the solutions to this equation. But the problem is, remember what we said at the beginning, right? We said that cosine x should not equal 0. Okay. Now again, like if you can consider this first and then under those conditions this, this, this would not be acceptable or uh, you can check it later on. No, so what happens if cosine x is equal to 0? We run into a problem. Okay? So this is not a solution. It, even though it took, looks like 1, this is not going to work. What about the other piece? Let's go ahead and take a look at that one. Sine x minus 1 equals 0. This implies sine x equals 1. And what is that supposed to mean? When sine x equals 1, again, we're on the unit circle, where sine x equals 1, we're talking about pi over 2, and that's actually where cosine x is 0. It's one of the values for which cosine x is equal to 0. So that means this is not acceptable either. Now, you could also check the following. After finding that, hey, cosine x should not equal 0, sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. If this can't be 0, that means sine squared x cannot be 1, and that means sine x cannot be 1 or negative 1. Okay? So, wh what is going on here? We started off by solving, trying to solve the equation. We did cross multiplication. We ended up with an equation, and then we found two solutions, but they're not acceptable, which means this equation has no solutions. Well, at least it looks like there are no real solutions. Are there any complex solutions to this equation? Something to think about. If you know of anything, please let us know, 
in the comments down below. But let's go ahead and take a look at the graph. So our conclusion here is no solutions to this equation, which is tangent x equals 1 over cosine x. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the graph and we'll conclude with that. So I graphed both of these functions for you, and this may look like they have intersection points. You know, uh, and even like maybe there are infinitely many intersection points. They're so close, right? They're overlapping, so on and so forth. But that's not the case. If you look up close, you're going to notice that th these two graphs actually never intersect. Therefore, this kind of verifies one more time that there are no solutions. Are there any complex solutions? Something to think about. All right. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time, probably tomorrow, with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.